Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Live. It is August 14, 2014. Welcome. I'm going to start doing these live broadcasts, if you like them, every Tuesday and Thursday. 1 p.m. Arizona time from 1 to 2. I thought it'd be fun. I also thought it'd be an opportunity to take your questions or comments. And now that I think that Google's kind of figured this out, I'll probably be able to actually read your comments and respond to them in real time. So let me turn off that audio there. Hopefully we don't have any feedback. And I do see myself, which is kind of strange seeing yourself broadcast live with latency. And I see some of you filling up the room right now. So go ahead and tweet it, people. Yeah, Facebook it to your friends and family because I'm sure, in fact, I'm positive I'm going to offend a lot of people today because critical thinking offends people. And it also makes you a conspiracy theorist. Now, I posed a question earlier. It's actually the title of this video. It says, what president goes dancing after bombing Iraq? And I'll actually give you a few minutes to answer because I know this is a very difficult question. What kind of president goes dancing after bombing an independent sovereign nation? An independent sovereign nation. Make sure to give yourself a couple minutes here, and then when you think you have the answer... Uh, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment box. In fact, I'm going to go put my answer. O bomb ba is my answer. We'll see if that posts there. And I'd like you to respond. Let me see your comments as well. Let me see that this comment system is actually working. But again, I pose the question, and feel free to enter whatever answer you think might be the correct answer. What president goes dancing? after bombing Iraq. I guess a better question is what president goes on vacation, a multi-million dollar vacation in Martha's Vineyard, along with his other scumbag friend and race baiter, Eric Holder. What president goes on vacation after bombing a country he supposedly withdrew from two years ago and then re-attacked because he's been an utter failure in that part of the world and he obviously also lied to the American people about withdrawing troops because now we're back. And, you know, it's funny the con job that we'll get from the president of the United States and CNN talking about this mountaintop, that they're saving civilians on the top of a mountain. I mean, I swear to God they pull this straight out of bullshit land. I mean, it might as well be a story about Mount Kilimanjaro and civilians on top of it where Obama needs to drop rainfall and spirits, food, and water. I mean, that's how they sell the American people on this attack, on this invasion from the air. It's what I guess justifies re-attacking Iraq. I guess it's, it's what justifies doing the exact opposite of what you campaigned on in 2008. I mean, honestly, I see this shit and just giggle like a little girl. Like a <laughs> I giggle like a little girl when I see it because it's so frigging ridiculous. And I saw Obama speak today. In fact, I tweeted on my tweet, tweet, Twitter account that I was going to puke if I heard the president of the United States mention even an inkling of Michael Brown, because I know how this scumbag loves to race bait. So I had my puke bucket over in the corner as I was watching a poised president who just came without a tie from Martha's Vineyard. You know, this is his downtime after he bombs and airstrikes countries. He just goes out on little vacations. You know, he does this in Hawaii as well, and he brings the whole city, you know, the area of Oahu and Honolulu specifically to a standstill as, you know, he... He roams the beach with his wife and spends millions of dollars on his presidential palace, which is, I guess, just a part of what it means to be an American king today. But he was actually amazingly and surprisingly poised during his speech. I mean, he must have had a cocktail or two earlier. Or maybe he just got a blowjob from his mistress. I'm actually not too sure, but it was one or the other. Because uh, we know he's not banging Michelle Obama, as Joan Rivers said, is kind of looks like a transsexual, kind of like a tranny in, in the White House, the first lady there. And yeah, Joan, I don't agree with everything she says, but she cracks me up from time to time. 
And I love how she's politically incorrect. I also like that she doesn't back down, and she gives you a real opinion. Again, if you're looking for politically correct, you can certainly tune into the boob tube. You can watch a poised, without a tie, President Barack Obama sell you on the con job that is the reattack on Iraq. And he also did mention, and as I explained, I had my puke bucket right next to me, and I ended up throwing up all over myself because he did mention, although in a poised fashion, he uttered the words, Michael Brown. And I got immediate flashbacks, you know, in my brain, the synapses were firing, the immediate flashback that registered, in my mind at least, was Trayvon Martin. Actually, the same attorney of Trayvon Martin is now representing Michael Brown.